Thank you. 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 When he created man, he created Adam by himself. And Adam went out and named the animals, took care of the garden, and named all the creatures of the world that God had created. Came back to God and he complained to God that he wanted a creature like unto himself, with which he could share his knowledge and his love. That there was no creature like unto himself. So God said to Adam, it is not good for man to be alone. Therefore, let us make woman. And Adam was put to sleep, and from his side came Eve. And God created this woman, the woman which is coming from the side of man. And Adam gave her her name. And he called her Eve. And he named all of the creatures God made. We don't know the name that he gave to all the others. But he gave her the name. And that, that name he called her Eve, Eva which means the mother of all the living. We are now in an age where motherhood is despised. No woman is ever considered a mother. In fact, that's the most despised creature on earth now is the mother. Whenever a girl says, what are you? And he asks a girl, what is she? Well, I am a, I am a, a, a Coca-Cola machine uh, filler. I go around and fill up, fill up Coca-Cola machines. I am an accountant. I am, a, you know, a lawyer. I am a doctor. You know, I am in charge of flipping hamburgers at McDonald's. And that is what I am. But when God made woman, he made woman to be mother. Flipping hamburgers at McDonald's, they're not even real hamburgers anyway. Coca-Cola machines are filled with garbage. And accountants work on a computer and a spreadsheet. And all these things are very transient and they don't have any great value, and they don't last. And remember also, says St. Augustine, when God created man, he gave him work to do. And he gave him the means to fulfill his work. I want you to name all the animals. So he gave him a strong intelligence. He could understand the nature of things, and he named them well. I want you to take care of the garden. He gave him strength and understanding how to take care of a garden. I want you to rule the earth, and he did all these things very well. God gave him a good work to ha hands and a mind to be able to do these things. But he still wasn't happy. And God wanted man to have something more. And that is called mother. And that is called the one that comes from his side. And that is called Eve, who is the mother of all the living. And when the devil came and decided to tempt man, he must get Adam to commit the original sin. He must get Adam to commit the sin of pride, by which he would take away original justice from his children and bring sin into the world. What did he do? He saw that there was this beautiful creature that God made from the side of man who had a great influence over him and who could move him to do things. And therefore, Satan said, if I can corrupt her, I can go back to hell and take a nap. She'll take care of the rest. So the Satan recognized that there was a power in this new creature called woman that was not in any other creature because she came from the side of man and she is about motherhood and life. And then when God came down, what did he do? He spoke to the serpent. First he said, Adam, you're the head of the human race. Why did you eat the fruit? And he said, it's because the woman you gave me, she deceived me and made me do it. Then he went to the woman and said, why did you eat the fruit? And she said, the serpent, the serpent, Lucifer, made me do it. And then he went to Lucifer and he said to Lucifer, you, you are going to be, you, the snake was once the most beautiful of all the creatures. Now it shall be ugly and shall wallow upon its belly. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. This is the first thing that was said. So notice that when God created man, he had already created a beautiful universe, a magnificent and wonderful universe, but it wasn't complete until there was a woman. There wanted to be something more. And Satan, who is wicked, Satan came and said, I want to destroy man, but I cannot destroy him 
if I only attack him directly, I may not succeed. But there's this creature that God made that has such wonderful power that if I can corrupt her, she'll take care of corrupting him. And therefore, when God spoke to the serpent, he said, I will enmity be between thee and the woman. You used a woman to destroy man. You used a woman to destroy him as a woman to destroy you. And I will make a war between you, Satan, and the woman. What kind of woman is this? She is mother. The first woman was the mother of all life. And no one goes to heaven who is not a child of Eve. There is not a single saint in heaven who is not a descendant of Eve. Our bodies all come from Eve. She is a mother of all life. No, no one can be pleasing to God. No one can be redeemed. No one can be human. No one can be can go to God unless we are of her. But we were born corrupted with original sin. And then we decided to add to corruption our own sins. And therefore so many souls go to hell. So God therefore decided to send his only begotten son to this earth. And he would be a man. And that man, Jesus Christ, he is God made man. True God and true man. And he is a true man. And just as it was not good for Adam to be alone, so it was not good for Jesus Christ to be alone. Therefore, he also called together his mother. And his mother came at the foot of the cross. And what did he say at the foot of the cross when he saved the rest of us? He said to St. John, Son, behold thy mother. You know, there is no possibility of happiness without mother. There is no home without mother. There's no joy without mother. There's no peace without mother. There's no goodness without mother. And there is nothing more powerful and wonderful than mother. So much so that that union between man and woman is not called husband. It is not called man. The union is called matrimony. And what does matrimony mean? Matris monium. Monio means duty or office, and matris means of the mother. Matrimony is the duty of mother, and it has a duty of mother in the man, and a duty of mother in the woman. <clears throat> Hence we see the wisdom of Satan today. He is trying to destroy the Catholic Church. He is trying to destroy Christianity. He is trying to destroy everything God made. And what does he focus on? Destroy the woman. You know, there was a meeting of Masons in 1820. And they said, we will destroy the Catholic Church. How do you destroy the Catholic Church? You would think it'd say, get the Pope, get the bishops, get the priests. No. If you want to destroy the Catholic Church, destroy woman. Take the mother out of the home. Take the mother away from her motherhood. For the Catholic Church elevates woman and recognizes how wonderful woman is because she was taken on the side of man to be mother, not a Coca-Cola machine-filling lady, not a soldier fighting at war, not an accountant, not a doctor and a lawyer, <clears throat> not the CEO of some company, and not Kamala Harris. None of these evil things they were made to be. They're made to be mother. And mother terrifies hell. And mother glorifies heaven. And mother defeats Satan. The devil is going to be defeated by mother very soon. And that is why in the last 200 years, he has attacked the whole of Christianity, but especially mother, mother, mother. There is a greatest error of our time called communism. And Marx, Karl Marx said, how do we change society? How would you destroy society? We destroy society by destroying woman. Destroy woman. Woman is made for mother. Woman is made for life. Now, why is marriage called matrimony? The duty of mother. It has a duty of mother and a man. What's the duty of mother and a man? His job is to build a house for a mother. To provide sustenance for a mother, to make a woman into a mother, and to take care of the children of the mother. He's there, like there's, there's inside of a house, there are several creatures. One of them is the bellboy, 
Another one is the guy that takes care of the garden, and then there's a husband. Husband means a guy that tills the ground. A husband is a farmer, but mother is mother. That is the sacred center of home, and the sacred center of marriage, and the sacred center of the Catholic Church, the sacred center of Jesus Christ's life, the sacred center of Adam's life. And that this center is necessary in order that there be a victory over Satan. And what great, 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 great grandpa back in 937 AD who was madly in love with great, 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 great grandma. I don't care. I don't know about you. All that matters is that they had your great, 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 great grandpa and they raised them. And your great-great-great-grandpa was able to be a father. And your great-great-great-grandmother was able to be a mother. And they stayed together that there should be children for the future of the human race. Why is marriage indissoluble? Why can't you get a divorce? Because you made a promise? No, men's promises aren't worth very much at all. <laughs> Try that in court sometime. A man's promise is worthless. Why is it that marriage is indissoluble? Because motherhood doesn't end. Because motherhood is sacred. And motherhood is holy. Therefore, on the day of the marriage, what do we do in the Catholic Church? In the Catholic Church, we bless the mother. We bless her reading. We bless her. Not one single blessing is given to the man. And why is this? Because the blessing he has is her. Just like 6,000 years ago. Not millions of years ago, like the imbefools would tell you in modern education. But the 6,000 years ago, when the first man lived, God gave him the whole world. And he saw it, and he thought it was beautiful. But important for modern man to realize. You can become extremely rich like King Midas. You can have all kinds of power, but perfect. He was given infused knowledge. He had no temptations of any kind. He was given a beautiful world, and there was no evil in it, and he wasn't happy. He needed mother. He needed Eve. And once Eve was created, then he could share his mind. Then he could share his heart. And then he could fulfill the command of God, which is to increase and multiply and people the earth. That is why marriage is so sacred and holy. And what does the word marriage mean? It means a bond. It means a yoke. It means a slavery. Are you free or are you married? They're not compatible. Either you're free, which means you're not married, or you're married, which means you ain't free. Now, what are you bound to? What are you tied to in the sacred bond and yoke of marriage? You're tied to motherhood. The man is tied to a woman whom he is supposed to make into a mother and to all her children. And she is tied to motherhood itself. She's the center of the wheel. She is the center of all things. That's the way God made it. St. Augustine points out, when God the Son became man, Jesus Christ telling what to do. It wasn't enough to believe him to be saved. He ran away a coward. But then what happened? On Good Friday, between noon and 3 p.m., Jesus Christ said, Woman, behold thy son. Now, St. Peter has a mother. Now, James and John and Thomas and James and Philip and Bartholomew, the 11 faithful apostles, they now have a mother, and not just Jesus Christ. And check their history from that day forward. They will never fail again. They will carry Christ to the ends of the earth. They will not let him ever go out of their hearts. They will carry him to the very ends of the earth. They will be the pillars of truth, the pillars of goodness, the pillars of faith throughout the world. When they heard only from Jesus Christ, they failed. When they were given a mother, they could never fail again. When a soldier is dying in the battlefield, and all things are alive, when a mother carries life, also, Satan is most powerfully today. And the reason why he does is because of Lord Jesus Christ sent through the Father and the Holy Ghost. Our enemies 
want to go after and play all the video gold and all the video games. The female has more nuclear bombs and kick more heads in. Always had more power than the male one. And always in the TV shows, the female is meaner and the guy is Bart Simpson. And they're all morons and they're all weak and they're all idiots. And they want girls to believe you can be something by being a worker. You can be something by being anything in the world except mother. But mother is the weapon of mass destruction that destroys the kingdom of Satan. That makes sure that children that are born, they are raised with the knowledge and love of God and the hatred of sin. And they know where to turn when there is trouble. And they understand underneath their mother, there is nothing more sacred than mother. And in 50 years of marriage, what do we celebrate? Mother, mother, mother. And the guy is allowed to be here also. Because he's been faithful to that mother. Our Lord Jesus Christ laid on his life for his bride, the church. That's what he did. He laid down his life for, his, for us. And so the husband must lay down his life for his bride. He must lay down his life for his children. And the modern husband, he is just selfish. He does not know what it means to be a father. He doesn't know what it means to be a man. A man is one who goes and builds a house for a mother. A man is one who loves a mother. A man is one who sacrifices himself for his mother. That's what a man is. And there are not men anymore today. But we need men who will be the husbands of mothers, the makers of mothers, and those that are faithful to mothers. And remember also, <clears throat> we are faithful to our Holy Mother, the Mother of God. She is the mother that crushes the head of Satan. She is the mother that makes our church able to be so powerful throughout the world. And she is being abandoned by the world today. And in the time of great trial, turn to the mother who comes to the most sacred union of the cross. And turn to the mother, which is the answer to all the troubles in our world today. Come back to mother, mother, and mother. We must love motherhood, bring it back to its pedestal, and we celebrate the beauty of marriage only because of mother. Otherwise, there's no reason to celebrate marriage. Let there be marriages in which there are mothers who have many children, all the children God sends. No birth control and abortion. There needs to be many children, all the children God sends. The devil hates children. He doesn't want many children. There is where saints come from large families. There need to be large families. There need to be many children. And we celebrate the sacredness of marriage because of motherhood and the mother who shall have children and the mother that shall crush the head of the Satan, the serpent. And the case of the that we have right now. And God bless you all then. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.